Okay, hello everybody. I uh, want to show you this new tool that I'm about to try out. Uh, I've seen it a couple, more than a couple times now, and I figure I would uh, dig in. So it's Albus AI. Uh, you see the uh, URL up here, AIValley.ai slash Albus. Um, I've already signed up. Uh, it's got a free beta uh, to sign up for, so I just use my Google. Basically, think of this, the way they describe it is, think of it as a Google search meets Pinterest. And basically, you can start to unpack a topic you're exploring and then pin a bunch of different assets on this board you're looking at and then do drill downs and all that. So um, let's uh, just try to uh, see uh, how this works. And I'm going to put in, what are you working on? I'm going to say um, an introduction to legal business design for law students. I'm heading over to Germany in about a month to teach legal business design um, at a summer program over to German law school. And so I've got to put it, uh, revamp my courses and update it. But let's sort of see if it understands what legal business design is. Now that is business design is a discipline and is applied in the legal context. So okay, so we've got legal innovation, it kind of broke this down. Um, I have no idea what this is. So I'm just going to do fact. Let's see what it pulls up for fact. I may pause this a number of times and populate this uh, a bit just so we can get into this. All right. Um, it's an emerging field. Uh, let's see. Can I get in this? I guess. Uh, okay. How do I scroll down in here, though? Interesting that I can't. Well, okay, there is, um, I'm just trying to scroll here. So I don't know if I got to expand this window to read the whole thing. Okay, so it came up with legal business design. That's great. Now this plus sign, I can say, tell me more. I can tell me more about law and business, design thinking or client centric. So I'm going to say law and business, uh, see what it comes up with. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this as I play a little bit and then kind of build this out. So bear with me, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm just uh, showing you midstream here. Notice the music, it has a little music toggle, I guess to help you get into the flow state here. So I'm just going through and unpacking each of these and starting to dig in a little bit more. For each of these, I always have a plus sign. I can say, tell me more, and it's gonna expand a bit on that topic. And for any of these, I can have it suggest an image uh, that I'll search, and so I can sort of put that up there. Think of it as sort of a, a mood board, if you will. Um, I'll show you here. Uh, I'll click on this image suggest, and it's just giving me things, and the way I would use this is not necessarily I wouldn't use these things, and I'm just going to choose one here. Um, in my, uh, this is from Ilta, interesting. Um, I wouldn't use these necessarily in my materials, but it's kind of like me, think about this as one big, like I said, mood board or brainstorming board or something like that. And so I have all these out here, and I'm going to pause again and see if I can't uh, unpack some more clever things here. Okay, so I have been playing with this. You can see uh, I can add headings like I did for generative AI as I sort of unpacked what role generative AI might have in legal business design thinking, sort of got its thoughts on there. And again, I can continue to drill down into any of these. I can just have it do a deep dive with tell me more or it sort of pulled out document generation, contract review, or NLP. Uh, for any of these, I can always get a picture uh, like I said, um, and it'll do some pictures. So uh, I also sort of, uh, I can ask it anything at any time. You don't have to just follow these boxes. Over here, this little magic wand, um, you know, I can just sort of put in any new prompt or topic. I did over here, I said, give me the bios on Herbert Simon, Walter Gropius, and Roger Martin. Those are the three uh, main uh, people that I always wrap legal business design thinking or business design around and then uh, use it as an intro to legal. I can get pictures. This is uh, Herbert Simon. 
and all that. So a great sort of uh, mood board here and really good way of just kind of unpacking your brain. So maybe it's a mind map, maybe it's a brainstorm uh, thing. All right. So uh, again, I can have the music, I can add headlines, I can add text or notes in here anytime and also add pictures. So I'm going to go to preview and share because there is a way to share this. And uh, we'll see uh, what that does. Uh, blur, so link, so I can generate a link and uh, send this to anyone I want, which is a nice functionality. I can also do a blur mode. So I could, if I'm screen sharing, say, I'm doing a class uh, online or I'm doing a presentation, I can basically screen share and I will click on one of these and it will be unblurred. So it's a way for people not to get ahead of you and all that. Um, and let's see, can I, I don't know if I can re-blur or not. Okay, I cannot re-blur. So you basically have to be very thoughtful about what you're gonna uncover, but uh, you could be sort of jumping around and all that. So anyway, this is Albus. Um, I'm gonna include a, a short video uh, YouTube that they cover a lot of things I did too, but it's interesting. It's fun. It's free. It's beta. It's not perfect, uh, but check it out.